everybody welcome back to my channel thank you all for clicking on this video my name is stephanie if you're someone who enjoys talking about film consider hitting that subscribe button now with the newest pixar movie soul dropping a few days ago on christmas i thought it would be fun to go ahead and rank all 23 pixar movies I did want to do this ranking earlier in the year when Onward came out, but I had never seen any of the car movies, Wally or The Good Dinosaur. So I was like, you know what? You got time to watch these before Soul comes out. Let's go ahead and get started with this ranking because we have 23 movies to talk about. But coming in in 23rd place, which is going to be a shocker, you guys. Like always, I, I, I shock people with my with my rankings. And now, this is one of the ones that I just saw for the first time this year, and that would be Cars, the first Cars. I do not like that movie at all, you guys. I know some of you are like, what? Stay with me, you guys. We still got, we still got 22 other movies to talk about. But I, I just wasn't a fan of this movie. I fell asleep. The Cold Cars trilogy, honestly, just never really called my attention from the beginning. That's why it took me so long to watch it. You know what? We're going to leave it as it is. And I know some of you have probably already disliked this damn video for putting this damn movie in the 23rd spot. But it is my list, and I did not like it. So, with that said, coming in 20 second spot would be cars 3 i know you guys y'all gonna be shocked where i have cars 2 same thing i just i wasn't here for it um i did enjoy it obviously over cars of course we're coming to the retirement of steve mcqueen and you know of course he wants to keep going and wants to be the best there's a, a nice little outcome there at the end and you know having to give the reins to somebody new and of course before that, trying to get used to a lot of the new things that are coming around, the new technology, the new way to train, and all that other good stuff. And I don't know, you guys. Again, I just, I wasn't really here for it either. Moving on to 21, and that would be Monsters University. Now, I love, love Monsters Inc., you guys. I really do. And I was kind of excited for Monsters University. I honestly haven't seen it in a long, long time, so I, I guess I should have watched it again, but I'm just kind of going from memory. I did re-watch a couple of them again recently, but this was one that I just, I really didn't want to revisit. So this is, of course, where Sully and Mike Wazowski first met. We also met um, Randall in this movie, but of course we do find out that Mike wanted to be a scare that was like his lifelong dream but of course there's nothing really scary about him and it was very hard for him to get to the understanding that you are just not a scare and stick with me it just no it just wasn't for me so coming in in 20th place would be the good dinosaur it's actually really cute it is it has a very heartwarming little parts to it and oh, actually, you guys, I'm gonna incorporate a tier ranking because I am a crier when it comes to movies. And I thought it would just be a fun little thing. Um, I did originally have a between like half a tier and four tiers, but then there's really a big old gap. It's either half a tier or four tiers, to be honest with you. And there's only a handful of movies that really did make me cry. So we're just gonna kind of cut it back to one, to half a tier, to two tiers. So if you do get a two tier, list here just know that technically that's four tiers so the good dinosaur is getting half a tier that final moment with the critter and arlo is just super sweet and i'm just like oh my god like that's when i got teary eye um again not full not no no full tears came through just my eyes got watery i don't hate it i thought it was still better than cars speaking of cars coming in the 19th place would be cars 2 i know shocker right I honestly don't understand why this movie is so hated. I personally find it to be the most entertaining one of the bunch. So the main reason that a lot of people seem to dislike this movie is because Steve McQueen, not Steve McQueen, oh my god, I was calling him Steve McQueen earlier, right? Lightning McQueen, whatever, y'all knew who I was talking about. Anyway, Lightning McQueen is not the main character, and of course we got the focus off of him, and we gave it to Mater, and now this is kind of more so his his story you guys the movie is called cars not lightning mcqueen and cars or just lightning mcqueen or just lightning or just mcqueen it's called cars so the movie for me personally can be about any freaking car that you want it to be yes i understand okay i understand that lightning is like 
the face of the cars because that's what we got in the first part i mean lightning was still part of the movie but he wasn't the full focus but you guys were like in a freaking uh what's it called like mission it was a fun movie entertaining is the only one that i did not fall asleep or give me drowsy or just lose interest in and i have absolutely no problem with it yes i don't i'm still not putting it up higher on my list this you know it's where it is where it is not the very bottom one but again the movie is called cars so it could be about any freaking car in my opinion but everybody which way their own coming in at 18th place would be a bug's life now this is one that i just rewatched again because i couldn't really remember it too well i've honestly only seen this one a handful of times the opening uh scene with the whole leaf falling and oh my god we're lost that's honestly one of my favorite uh scenes in the uh in the movie i know it's like at the beginning it's kind of sad to say that but i mean the movie itself it did make me giggle from time to time but that part just always cracks me up so much simple thing right but it just it gets me you know and then the other end comes around talk about it's okay we're gonna go around the leaf around look there the, there's the line we're good we're safe it just gets me every time you guys it makes me so happy we're gonna go ahead and keep moving forward because we're trying not to get too much into detail into all of these movies because again it's a long list number 17 and that is going to be finding dory the most anticipated sequel that we all wanted i mean we all love finding nemo we love dory and finding nemo but unfortunately finding dory fell pretty short it was disappointing i did see this one in theaters it was funny i think um in the screening the majority of the people on in line were adults because again it's something that we have been waiting for for years I didn't hate it by any means necessary it just really wasn't what I was fully expecting from it the well or what was it the uh, I don't even know the well look at the end of, ooh, what? <laughs> I think it was voiced by Ty Burrell <laughs> I think that's that one I don't know what kind of animal that was it's like a well family small well it was a tiny one it was white wasn't it i don't know you guys we're gonna we're gonna move past finding dory and coming in the 16th place will be toy story 2 it's my least favorite obviously that's why it's way down over here it really is this one i should have probably seen it again because i only seen it maybe two three times at the most i'm not gonna again go too much into this movie because i don't really remember too much about it which i guess technically maybe i should have put it further down on my list but i just you know again it it is where it is on my list it's my own personal list but yes this is where we meet of course jesse you know i do have to say though that the villain in this movie i enjoyed maybe if i were to rewatch it it may move further up on my list i don't know i mean in 15th place would be wally i know you guys you're probably like stephanie what I enjoyed it. I mean, look how far I have it up my list. I mean, it is 23 movies, but I don't love it. It's not top 10 tier for me. Now, I did just see Wally for the first time this year. I do have a review for the movie. It is part of my Hit Rewind playlist where I'm reviewing movies I've never seen before. I'll make sure to link those reviews uh, down in the description box below if you do want to get an overall bigger view of how I felt about the movie. But we're going to go ahead and move on. 14, and that would be Ratatouille. This one uh, is one of the ones that I just rewatched again. I mean, there are parts of the movie that really just like, like the beginning of the movie when the damn ceiling falls down and like there's like herd of rats oh my god this is disgusting it just like falls into this living room yes they all like take off right to freedom but like the fact that this lady had like this herd of rats in the ceiling is just gross and then of course when they're in the kitchen just working and stuff i mean yes they got you know sanitized and everything but still ill I mean, yes, that's why the, the health department guy shut them down, right? Because rats. Overall, I really enjoyed the story. This is a movie that I feel is more for adults than it is for children. It just the concept of, you know, we're in a restaurant, we're cooking and everything. Yes, we have like the cutesy rats or whatever that that's what have the attention of a child. When in 13th place would be Toy Story 4. Of course, this is a movie that 
you know, we really weren't asking for because we did finish off the trilogy beautifully. I was like mini doubting this particular movie. I was like, do we really need it? I know we did get the little girl in like the the Toy Story Terror one, the Halloween special. I know, I know we've seen her with the toys there, and of course that's who we ended up with the toys in Toy Story Three. The thing with this movie, the first time I saw it, I saw it in Spanish. Loved it. it oh, it's also gonna get um one and a half tears. The thing is, when I saw it in Spanish, I loved it. I cried so much. The other rewatches have all been in English and I don't love it as much. I don't, I don't even think I've cried when I've seen it in English to be honest with you. I'm just like, where is that like passion and that love and the, oh my God, the heartwarming feel that I had for it when I saw it in Spanish. It's not there for me in the English version. And some of your points, because you're Mexican, you speak Spanish. Yes, but Spanish is technically kind of like my second language. It was a perfect ending to Woody's character. In 12th place would be Up. This could be a shocker for you, and I don't know, I probably won't at this point, what is a shocker that I'm saying. I did not like this movie when I first saw it. I know. And a lot of people, of course, loved it from the get-go. It did take a couple rewatches to finally see and appreciate what all of y'all have seen and appreciated. Of course, ever since then, whenever I see a squirrel, I'm always like, squirrel! And <laughs> I mean, I, I say it towards my dog, but sometimes I don't, it's just me by myself and I just say it. Number 11, and that's going to be Pixar's newest movie, Soul. I unfortunately don't love it like a lot of people are loving it. This one, like I did say in my review, is more of an adult type of movie. Animation in this movie is absolutely beautiful and stunning to look at. I love how they captured New York City. I do love the overall message that we do get in the movie. Now I did just post my review for that one a couple days to go so again we're gonna keep moving forward running off my number 10 spot would be brave this one you guys is another one that is always at everybody's bottom of the list I truly 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 love brave I think it's such a great movie we have a very independent Merida who is like I am not about to get married I do not want a man I'm gonna stand up for myself she's a great archer and I you know, yes, you know, she doesn't make the best choices and, you know, accidentally turns her mother into a bear and, you know, trying to correct it. We have witchcraft. Coming in in ninth place would be Toy Story, the original Toy Story, where we meet all the wonderful toys. We have these talking toys that is not creepy at all, right? We do, of course, get um, Sid, that's the villain in, uh, in this story, and I really liked him as well. He's such... Um, punk rock kind of kid who likes blowing up the toys. I'm sorry, I just re replayed the part when the toys come alive in front of him and he's like freaking out. <laughs> We're gonna move back. Number eight, and that is The Incredibles part two. I know a lot of people also are not that big of a fan of the sequel. I enjoyed the sequel as well. Obviously, it's part of my top 10. Gotta love that whole a scene with the raccoon that was just hilarious. I do enjoy the villain more in the sequel than I do in part one. I feel like it got more of a justice than Finding Nemo did with Finding Dory. Number seven would be Inside Out, which you can say it's kind of like Soul's big sister. We are within the emotions of Riley. Fear, anger, disgust, joy, sadness. There we go. Um, can you forget sadness? It's the main focus and the importance of the movie. The animation in this movie is also amazing. The colors are great. I love the way that these certain emotions were drawn and the colors that were picked for each certain emotion also. It's something that we really never saw before, I feel like, in an animated movie. And again, we're just kind of focusing on one's emotions and it's very interesting in the way that everything was done. This one is getting two tiers. Wait, did I say two or three? Oh my god. I don't know. You guys, it's four tiers. I don't even know what fucking, how I <laughs> said it was gonna break. On to number six, and that would be Finding Nemo. The beloved Finding Nemo. It's a heartwarming. It's fun. It's the saddest little opening ever. I mean, this one and Up, right, I guess, but like, like I said earlier, Up took me a couple watches to get to it, but oh my god. 
we're like happy day whatever right and then it's like the mom gets murdered trying to save the children even though marty told her they're going to be fine but of course like a mother wants to protect the children against this fucking what the kind of fish was it, it was a shark i don't even remember what kind of fish it was but sad is the opening ever you guys saddest opening like i'm trying to get tears so of course we're gonna give it one we're, we're giving it one tier one tier, yeah that's how i don't again i don't remember where my tier rankings are in that damn shark we're gonna say it's a shark an eel what kind of fucking fish was it i don't know it's a it's a mean fish it's an evil fish you know i think it would have been nice to have seen that damn fish later and then like bruce would have ate it would have like relapsed because, you know, they do that. We are in our top five, you guys. And this would be Pixar's movie that came out earlier in the year, Onward. Um, yes, I am one that prefers Onward over So. And I'm only comparing the two because they both came out this year. So seems to be the number one for a lot of people. I am going more towards Onward, even with the trailers. Like, a lot of people were, from the beginning, looking forward to So I know I'm always bringing Soul back into the mix. But a lot of people from the beginning were like, Soul, Soul, Soul. And then when I saw the trailer for Soul and Onward, I'm just like, Onward, Onward, Onward. I mean, we are talking elves. We're talking mystical creatures. We're on a quest in modern day time. We are talking about a father who gets brought back from the dead just kind of midway through there with some kids who know nothing about with well one has no wizardy exper wizard e er is that a word i feel like you don't know what i'm trying to go with right you know um no experience of course we do have the older brother who loves the whole wizard world that ending you guys just tore me up and so yes, it is getting two stars. I'm just gonna get this four stars. I, I don't really want to go into the spoilers, but every time I see this movie, you guys, it makes me cry so much. It's just the 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 fact that the checklist that he wanted to do with his father, he was able to check off. Look at me. I'm already getting teared out, you guys. Really, it's just it's just the sweetest thing that once he kind of once Ian kind of. Was <laughs> we're moving forward you guys I'm gonna just cry trying to tell you what it is watch the movie if you haven't seen it it's beautiful have Kleenex um obviously it's the most emotional apparently now on my list that I'm now I'm like should I move it up further up on my damn list but yes it makes me cry it's on Disney plus you guys all of these are on freaking Disney plus let's move forward number four would be Monsters Inc um love like I said when I was talking about Monsters University I absolutely love 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 this movie it's so much fun uh, of course, this is where we officially get introduced to uh, Mike and Sully and the villain that is Randall and the schemes that he's doing to try to be number one in the scare factory. Things that don't go very well is how we get a human baby into the mix, into this monster world. This getting um, half a tier. Coming in in third place, you guys, would be Toy Story Part 3, the ending of the Andy trilogy this was absolutely perfect he's moving on he's going off to college it's time to say goodbye to the toys of course you know because he is older he's no longer playing with the toys they end up in a very not so happy place the daycare and of course this is where we meet the villain in this story lotso the bear and he's kind of running things here we had that terrible scene of oh my god is this the end are they going to be incinerated it's terrible so it is getting two tears my top two you guys was very difficult because I was just like do I want you here do I want you there at one point I did have my number two as my number one and then you know just kind of kept going my number two pick would be the Incredibles of course we have Bob aka Mr. Incredible kind of going through his midlife crisis in this uh, day and age uh, being a superhero is kind of illegal so they find you you know you're gonna be kind of put away so they're kind of in um, like protective custody of course get opportunities when um, Bob gets approached by Mirage and uh, then we get introduced to the villain of the story um, Syndrome doesn't have any actual powers but he is very rich 
And unlike Batman, he is a villain, obviously, you know, selling his weapons and he's doing villainous things. So number one pick, of course, leaves it with being Coco, which is sadly a very underrated movie. I love the movie. I think it is beautiful to look at. It made me cry as well. So again, when I watch it today, I'm like, it's getting two tears. I'm gonna go ahead and give it its hierarchy now. I do love that our culture was portrayed beautifully. Now again, I am Mexican, and us personally as a family do not celebrate Day of the Dead. But I don't think I've ever really seen anybody here, like any of my cousins or aunts, uncles, who put up off uh, the ofrendas um, here. But usually I do see it uh, with my family who is in Mexico. I don't really feel like it was making fun of the culture. I think it was portrayed beautifully. I love the script. I love the colors. I love the way that the afterlife looks. Um, again, we are, yes, in the afterlife, but there's nothing dead about it, if that makes sense. You know, everything's so vibrant and beautiful and celebrating and I, I just I loved it and I just love that it wasn't like a stereotypic overall of Mexicans I mean yes we do have the whole chanquila situation which I think it's hilarious and I absolutely love Coco I hate that it's so underrated it is not talked about enough and but yeah Coco is my number one Pixar movie I absolutely adored it when I rewatched it again today I went yes I made a perfect choice in having it as my number one because again I was like back and forth go ahead let me know down below how do you guys rank the picture movies it's 23 so you don't have to rank all of them but maybe maybe give me at least your top five or just overall your favorite pixar movie you know just don't come after me on how i personally ranked my list because remember it's my list so no judging everybody has different likes and opinions on movies and of course remember that anything that i do have a review on will be in the description box down below of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions.